How did you have to turn into that? Marjorie, we are not taking on any new apprentices now. Oh, come on, look, she really wants to do her apprenticeship here with us. Plus, she used to go here. She was in the baby room. She started there and she went all the way here for a preschool. Marjorie, she could have been born in the building for all I care. We're not taking on any new apprentices. We need qualified staff. That is how you get qualified staff, okay? You invest in the apprentices, all right? Take them in early, train them up. Marjorie, we don't have time for that level of investment. We need to get qualified staff members through the doors now. Sure, well, it doesn't matter how many qualified staff members we get through the door, okay? They're in and out within a month, all right? Get the apprentices in, okay? Train them up. Let them learn the ropes, okay? So by the time they get qualified, they know everything. They're here to stay. No. Oh, oh my God, honestly, whilst you and Roger are up in your ivory tower, you've got absolutely no idea what it's like for us down here in the trenches, all right? Why don't you sort off back to your hot tub? Well, I'm sorry, that's how it appears to you from down here in the trenches. But there's a lot more that goes into running nurseries than just sitting in hot tubs. You get massages too, only on Thursdays. Oh, Just through here, sorry, this lady wanted to speak to somebody. Which one of you is in charge? That would be her ladyship over here. She's all yours. What? So I live in the house just adjacent to the nursery and truthfully I could go into a lot of detail about some of the complaints I have about that but I won't now. Thank God. But I am going to make a complaint about the woman out in the car park. And what complaint is that? Despite having her pick of any of the parking spots, she always chooses the one furthest away from the door right next to the gate. I'm assuming you're going to get to the point as to why that is an issue. That's my parking space. Your parking space? Yes. Many moons ago when the owner acquired this land and you took my driveway and... You sold part of your driveway, if I remember correctly. We didn't take it. Oh, you must have been with the company some time. I also do my research. I see. Well, when you... When I gave up part of my driveway so that you could build the car park, I had assurances from the owner that I could park my car in it. And you still can. Except I can't because that woman out there keeps parking in my spot. Your spot? Yes, it's the spot directly next to my house. I've been parking there for years and then suddenly she started and she started using that spot instead. As far as I can recall, you were allowed to use the car park but there was never a spot designated to you. That may be, but I've been parking in that same spot, the exact same spot, for years. A parent or grown-up or even staff member has never parked in that spot, okay? It is mine. Everyone knows that it's mine. Fine. Fine. I will talk to them. Who is it? That lady out there in the blue striped shirt. I'll be back. Seems like your choice of parking space is causing quite the uproar. Oh, hello again. I see she's taken the complaint all the way to head office this time. I was in the building anyway. I'm not here to tell you to move the car. I just want to make it look like I am so she'll stop chewing my ear off. Handy, because I wasn't going to move it anyway. Any particular reason you're choosing this spot is the furthest away from the building. Exactly why I do it. Yesterday morning, I saw three dings of people trying to get as close to the door as possible. So at least back here, I know I'm safe. You do realize parking here irritates the lady who lives next door. Oh, I know. In addition to not having the paint scratched on my car, her being annoyed is an extra bonus. Given that you're brand new to town, you're not doing yourself any favors when it comes to making friends. When it comes to making friends, I wouldn't say you're the authority on the matter. Oh yeah, I've heard about you. Siobhan, former manager of the other nursery, you've got quite the reputation. Have a nice day. Do you know, could just throw it in the bin. 
You want me to throw my phone in the bin? Oh, I weren't talking about the phone. I meant the person sending those texts. That's what I did with mine. Or, you know, just be a typical millennial and, you know, stick it on silent. I'm sure you can wait. I didn't get your name. Vivian. But all my friends back home call me Viv. It's kind of like the sound my car makes when I turn it on. It's really loud. Another bonus for annoying the neighbour. You seem rather hell-bent on annoying this neighbour. She turned the sprinklers on the first time I ever parked here and got Jamie all wet before he went into nursery, so, uh... This mama bear's got a grudge now, and I've got plenty of time on my hands. You alright, Charlotte? Oh, hi. You here to collect Cora? Yeah. How are you? You alright? Oh, fine, thank you. And you? Yeah, I'm good. You cut your hair? Oh, yes. Oh, looks really nice. It suits you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. See more of your pretty face now. <laughs> oh, there's that smile as well. Honestly, you're so gorgeous when you smile. Thank you. Beautiful dress as well. Honestly, I'm always admiring it. I've been meaning to for the longest time. That's really nice. Thank you. Um, I like the pattern on it. Does amazing things for your figure as well. I should let you get Cora. Oh, sorry, I'm not in a rush. I hear you and your husband separated. Yes. I would say I'm sad, but uh, now you're available. She is most definitely not available. Uh, do you mind? We're uh, trying to have a conversation here. <laughs> Trust me, you are not her type. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she can tell me for herself what her type is, alright? I like mean redheads. That's Graham. Weren't interested anyway. Thank you. Now, why were you being so nice to him? Well, when you say no, sometimes... They can get really angry and I didn't want the situation to escalate so I was hoping by being nice he would just then leave me alone. No baby that's not how it works. You have to make a scene. Make a scene? Yeah make noise draw attention get everyone's eyes looking at him make him feel as uncomfortable as he's making you feel. I don't know if I could do that. Sweetheart, I know you think by being nice you're helping the situation, but all it's doing is giving their twisted mind the green light, okay? They're gonna carry on unless you make them not want to be there anymore. Christ, bark at them if you have to. Okay, that makes sense. Good. So I'm not always gonna be here to protect you. Speaking of, why are you here? I'm shocked. It's our anniversary, did you forget? No, 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 our, our anniversary is not today. We we went for our first day on the 21st. It's not the anniversary of our first date. It's the anniversary of the date that you got me fired. Mia, you know I feel so terrible about that. I don't. I love that you did that. That devious little mind of yours. I'm not proud of myself for that. I am. That was the moment I fell in love with you. <clears throat> the moment you are. You heard. FYI, I didn't forget our anniversary. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Because looking back, I've realised that that was actually the moment that I fell in love with you too. How did you? Reese told me that you had called asking about my shifts to know when I finished today, so I knew you were thinking the same thing as me. Well, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. I'm gonna Reese's gossipy little Amelia! 